Jim, and then we'll come back to Eric, okay? Jim? All right, we've got uh, Don from Palmyra here. Hi, Jerry. I uh, went to my first little league game, uh, first major league game as a little league uh, in 59 from Fairhaven, Mass. We went up to uh, went up to Boston, and we're all heartbroken, our team, because Ted Williams had the day off. Had the <laughs> and, but uh, my, my question for you uh, is, you, you must have spent some time around Ted Williams, and, and uh, I'd like to hear a Ted Williams story, if you have one, or, or any comments you might have about, about Ted Williams. I got more than one. I got, <clears throat> the, my first meeting with Ted Williams was when I got traded to the Red Sox in 1978. And he would come to spring training as a guest instructor, you know. And so my locker was right near Yaz. I was sitting next to Yastrzemski. So this was Ted's big day to come in. And of course, you know, the media always gathers all around him. And, you know, Ted, Ted was, I mean, Ted lit up a room when he came in. He just started talking and yelling and screaming. And everybody, you know, would be looking at him. So anyway, I'm sitting there, Yaz. So Yaz says to me, he says, Wait to see this act. <laughs> so, 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 so I looked at Yaz. I said, "What? what I said, what, are you, "What are you talking?" He says, "Just watch. Just watch." I said, "All right." So he goes. He comes in the clubhouse and he's all over the place talking to everybody. And then he walks to our left was the bathroom stalls where we had a big window in front of it. And Ted walks by us, you know, and he taps Yaz on the shoulder, taps me, goes, hey, kid, how you doing? I say, good, 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 good. And he goes up to the mirror, and he stands there, he goes, there he is, the greatest hitter of all time. <laughs> True story. True story. <laughs> and my other one is, I was leading off, and Burleson was hitting second. And... You know, Ted loved to embarrass you with his knowledge and your lack of knowledge. <laughs> and he'd always wait till the media was around to do so. So one day we're at the batting cage and all the media is following Ted. And Ted goes, hey, Remy. Said, yeah, Ted. He says, what's the most important job you got to do? Now, I'm scared to death. I said, if I get this wrong, in front of all this media, it's going to be headlines in the paper tomorrow, right? So I'm sitting there and I'm going, uh, uh, most important thing I got to do, uh, uh, get on base. He goes, you're damn right. I said, oh, I got it right. I said, I got it right. He was, he was something else. I mean, he was, uh, you know, like I said, he's one of those guys like Muhammad Ali. You know, you, you walk into a room and just, it just brightens the room up. And that's the way he was. He was bigger than life. Bigger than life. 